This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses an Access database as the source. Here we are in the Access database, and I'm displaying the list of customers in this database. Um, there are more columns than what are shown here. It only shows the columns that actually have data in them. So we'll be using this as our source, and I'm going to close Access now. Here's the table that we'll be loading the data into, and you can see it has a lot more columns than what we saw when we are looking at the customers in Access. So now we'll go to Visual Studio and I'll drag Dataflow task onto the canvas and double click to go over to the Dataflow canvas. And I'm going to start by dragging the OLEDB source onto the canvas. I'll be using this to read customers from Access database. And I'll double click to open that editor. And we need to set up a new connection manager for Access. So now I'll click on New. And up here at the top, we need to go select one of the providers for Access. I'll choose this one for Microsoft Office 16.0 Access Database Engine OLEDB Provider. Then I click OK, and you can see things change now. Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. If you are integrating applications with SQL Server, you know it can be quite a hassle. With the Cozy Rock SSIS Plus REST framework, you can easily connect any web service. Create XML defined configuration file. Process complex services with an embedded JavaScript engine. For additional power, you can use any .NET class in your code. All data is protected using the standard SSIS framework. Check the growing list of ready-to-use REST configurations. Start using the CozyRock SSIS Plus Suite now. It's free for download and development in Visual Studio. And here I need to put in the uh, file path to the Access database. So it's on my C drive, and then I'll paste in the name of the database here for the server or file name. And then I'm going to check blank password, and I'm not even going to enter a username for the purposes of this demo. And uh, you can see the test connection succeeded here. So I'll click OK to close that, and OK to close the connection manager. And now I need to choose customers. And we can do a preview here and see that data we were just looking at in Access. I'll close that, close this editor, and now we'll use the OLEDB destination. I'll be using this to write customer info to SQL table. And I'll connect the blue arrow from the source and double click the destination to open the editor. And uh, we need to set up a new connection manager for this also, which is over in SQL. So we'll choose this one and click OK. And then we need to choose the table, which is Access DB Customers. And we'll make sure that the table is empty, and it is. I'll click on Mappings. And everything gets mapped. And there you can see the whole list of all of the columns. Click OK to close that editor. And now we'll save the package. And I'll execute it. And it says it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we can go look at the data over in the table. And there you can see it loaded up all eight of the customers. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.